Evening everybody, Rich here, back for part 6 and the final part of this MTS Oceanos tutorial. Thank the Lord. Um, and today's focus is basically all the finishing off details. The focusal details, masts, uh, lifeboats, a stern pool, and that's pretty much it really. It's doors and windows and things like that. Um, and we'll sure see about that. Right, first of all what we're going to do is sort out the focusal. And we're going to go down to the front wall of the bottom su uh, superstructure. So you've got the focusal here which is the bow, the bow deck. And you've got the front superstructure here. So we're going to go to the front wall and the centre block here. And what we're going to do is count to the sixth block forward of the centre. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And what we're going to do is build a row of two. And then to the side we want three. One, two, three. And the other side, one, two, three. And then two. One, two, like that. So you've got a little design like so. And then we increase that to two blocks high. All the way around. Like so. And then on the front... Uh, one black, one back from the front, so here's the front here and go to the second block back which is that one and we're going to build our mast from there and we're going to build the mast up seven so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and then behind that we want eight one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and then ten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten like so and then three down from the top we go or fourth down rather, go out, th go out three and then the other side go out three like so, and then we're going to go back down to the bottom again, and then for the uh, side of the mast, which is on the th on the middle block of the three on the side, you want to go up six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, you can make it seven if you want to. It's up to you, but I do the same on the other side anyway. On six, one, two, three, four, five, five, six, and the same on the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go, there's our mast. Like I say, if you increase it to 7 high, it'll probably look a bit better. So I shall do that all the way around like so. So there we are, 7 high all the way around. And uh, that's our mast. That's the bow mast anyway. There's another one on the, on the stern which will come on uh, <coughs> later on. Alright, so what we're going to do now is add the cranes. There are two cranes, one either side of the ship. And we'll go back to the front wall of the superstructure and we're going to count to the fourth block forward. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and then out uh, seven, so one, two, hang on, I'll put the centre block there first, so centre and then out seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we're going to build uh, one block there like so, and then make that three, like so, and then for the front we want three, for the side we want three, and the back we want three as well, so you've got three, 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 all like that, so it should, should look something like that, and then we increase that to uh, two blocks high all the way around, so have a design like that and then add a cover to the top basically fill it in with white blocks so you add a design like that and then in the center we want to build the crane body uh, which is five blocks up so one two three four five uh, yeah five blocks up so one two three four five up like that and one to the back and then for the crane arm uh, it is uh, it is hang on eight long so the crane arm is eight long so I'm just trying to work out where it goes it goes on the top so if we build it in eight but using slabs at the same time so we build four blocks across so one two three four uh, make it five and then three slabs one two three so it's eight in total so it's one two three four five six seven eight like so and I can't really see what I've done on the prototype so I'm having to make things up as I go along but uh, yeah, and if, if, if we get stairs as well, if we get the quartz stairs, it may make me look a bit better. So I'll add quartz stairs underneath here, like so, and it may look a bit better. I can't really tell because there's no, no bloody way of seeing it. Uh, so what I do, I replace that with a block, and then we add stairs and then stairs. And that looks a bit better, gives it a bit more of a curve. But it's just a really basic and really crappy looking mass, uh, crane. Anyway, that's that one done. We do the same the other side now. So we do seven out to the side, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we add our three, 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 and three, and then increase it to two high, and then add the cover, and then the mast itself, uh, the crane body is uh, five up, one, two, three, four, five, and one back, and then out five, one, two, three, four, five, sorry in five and then three one two three like that with slabs one two three like that there we go then we'll add a block underneath plus two sets of stairs like so like that and there we are there's the second crane 
as I say, they're nothing really special. They do look pretty crap in, you know, I'm the first to admit that. <laughs> they are pretty crap. And you can't see them because everything is white, but there you go, there's an angle. Yeah, that's that. So that's our little job done there. So what we're going to do now is go back to the mast, the, fr the front of the mast, and we're going to count to the fifth block forward, or the s no, sixth block forward, sorry. So from the front, we we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to build a little shed, which is five wide and two blocks for the side. So five, uh, so one, two that way, one, two that way. The sides are two and two and the front and then increase that to two blocks higher. There's no real purpose for this shed, at least not that I'm aware of, and because it's so small you can't really use it for anything, but that is that is it anyway, so it's five high, and if you want to, you can put uh, stairs, uh, you can actually make, yeah, make it into a vent if you want to, so, so, make, so if you add two blocks high on the back there, like so, and then one block high on the back there, on the, on the middle, and then add stairs, and then stairs, and then you've got a vent shaped like that, and if you want to, Remove these blocks here and replace them with black. See, I'm making things up as I go along. There we go. They've just made some use out of it. Turn it into a vent. There we go. Brilliant. Right, so that's that. Um, now we're going to add the, the uh, anchor chains. So the anchor chains themselves are going to be uh, 16 blocks forward of this building we just built, or the vent rather. So 16 blocks forward. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it's 16 like so. And then out to the side one and out to the other side one. There we go. And then what we want to do is build, make that three that way and one and one. And then make that three that way plus one and one. So you've got two uh, C's if you like or two, or two U's if you like if you're looking forward. And uh, that's the uh, things there. And I'm just going to... Ponder this one because on the prototype, I can't remember if I you if I put anything under the anchor under the, the chains, and yeah, I did. So I put uh, black blocks underneath the anchor chains, and the chains themselves are 13 long. So what we can do is dig a trench 13 blocks long and replace it with black. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then replace with black. Like so, and the same the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then replace with black. And replace the damage which I've just done. Not doing a very good job here. There we go. So there we are. There's the anchor chain bases. And at the end of the bases, using quartz slabs, we just put another couple of C's at the end. Like so, and it should look something like that. And as I say, for the anchor chains themselves, we're going to use anvils, because that's really what we've got. And we're going to put anvils all the way along the, along the chain like that. And there we go. That's the uh, anchor chains there like that. Nothing really special, but there we go. Um... And really, all the rest of the detail is sort of small and minute. But I get to the bullards, so I put a few bullards around. I put these at random because I don't actually know where they go. But I put a pair of bullards there, which are basically anvils. Another couple a bit further along, so another two there. And another couple by the crane there. So you've got two, 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 two there. And I do the same the other side. So I put two there. And then a bit further down, we'll put two there and then the last ones go uh, sort of here like so there we are there's the uh, last ones and then the last objects on the on the pro on the um, folk saw is basically just small vents so uh, if we go back to the uh, little shed we built we go about eight forward one two three four five six seven eight and six to the side one two three four five six add a vent three high plus stairs on the top and one forward same the other side so what was it, it was six out on that so one two one two three four five six three high plus the stairs and one forward and that's really all the detail i'm going to be doing for the folk saw because there is more detail that i added on the prototype but it's it's not accurate or anything, it's just random, so I'm just going to leave leave the folks all basic as that. And then you can make the, make the changes where you want to, because I'm, I don't know if anyone's actually watching this and actually building this, but uh, if you want to make the changes yourself, you can. 
um, and it'll look fine so that is that little job done there right next job we want to do is add the doors and windows to the front of the superstructure so we'll go to the bottom superstructure first just behind the cranes I'm going to add a few windows there so I'll put a go from the center put a window on the center and then go sort of every two blocks and then we'll add a couple of doors and then another window there so it's three windows or two two windows to the side plus doors so do the same again a window a window door and door preferably doors and then a window there now well, there's the bottom ones there and then for the next deck up we're going to use two block high windows so one on the center again which is two blocks high and I'm going to need to raise that up a bit actually how did I do that on the prototype? Because there are, the windows are two blocks high, but they're at a funny angle. So these windows are can't actually see through them. There, they're, uh, they're a block below the top. So yeah. So if we, if we add the windows again, which are two blocks high, so we we'll go back to the centre again, which is here, and we're going to add a window in the centre there, which is two blocks high, like so. Don't worry about the top just yet, because we can cover that up. And then every two blocks out, add a window. And a window and then a window there and lastly a window there so that's four windows either side of the center so we did the same the other side I believe that's how it is and then lastly we can get our quartz slabs again and what we can do is put slabs across the top of the windows on this little ledge here Round to the side there, there we go. And just gives it a bit more detail. Do the same on the other side. And there we go. And that's our little job done there. And uh, it don't look too bad in my opinion. <laughs> and for the side windows, there are side windows that go on this panel here as well. They're basically the same design. Basically you just want uh, two block high windows and you only want three of them. So like that. And randomly placed but uh, there's still three of them there. And I'll do the same on the other side. So, put a window there, a window there, and a window there. And there we go, there's the side windows there. And that is the uh, front superstructure done. That's one of the lower, lower superstructure anyway. Um, still got the next deck up to go, so we'll go over to that. And we'll do the same sort of thing again. So I'll put another centre window, which is two blocks high. And then, uh, sort of every two blocks, add another pair of windows. A window there. Windows every like I say every two blocks add a window. I'll put a single door here and then single windows out to the side. So it's one, two, three, door, one, two. So I'll do the same on the other side. So one, two, three, and then a door. And then window and window. And there we go, that's the front superstructure done. <laughs> And that is that little job done there. There will be windows or portholes to go on the side, but we'll worry about them in a bit. Uh, I'm just going to look around and see uh, other things that need to be doing. So there's one more job that needs to go on the, on the front superstructure here. It's a very barren area, this is. And I think it's for a heliport, uh, a helipad, but uh, I'm not going to bother with the helipad. Uh, so I'm just going to put a, a wall around it. So what we'll do, we'll go back to the front of the superstructure. Just under the bridge there. And we're going to go to... Um, the 26th block forward so 1, 2, 3, so I count forward so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 <laughs> 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 so 26th block there, that's the centre so 26 there and then we want to build the wall 23 wide so that is uh, 11 either side, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 that way. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 that way. And then we want uh, 3, 1, 2, 3, and then 2, and 2. And then the size we want uh, 26, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So that's one side. Do the same on the other side. So we want three, two, two. Three, two, two. And then 26. Or basically all the way back till it connects with the deck. Uh, connects with the superstructure. 
like so. So it's either 26 or to connect to the deck house. <laughs> it's either, either, whichever comes first. And uh, that's that little job done there. So, uh, yeah, don't look too bad. I mean, it's, it still looks quite bad, doesn't it? But, you know, not really much else we can do. Uh, for the front wall here, because this, this area of the superstructure is open, um, I don't really know what to do. If we can use... Uh, if we go, if we, actually, if we go go for the centre block on this area here, so for the centre block on this open area, and we'll use slabs, and go on the first block of the wood, there, so you can see you're on the front of the superstructure. Basically, just trace all the way around to the outside. Like so, all the, all the way to the outside, and then go along the side till you connect with the side wall like that. And it just gives it a bit more of a curve you know, subtle curve, but you know, you have to do the same this side. So trace along each section, out to the side, and then all the way along the side, like so. And there we are. Just gives it a bit more of a a subtle curve, but you know, just gives it a bit more a uh, sort of less uncluttered or less, uh, yeah, less uncluttered if you like. It is a very barren area, but you know, no big deal. All right, that's that job done there. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a jump cut while I work out what to do next, and then we should move on. So, uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So we're at the back of the ship this time, and we're going to add two rows, or two decks worth, of uh, side portholes now. We're going to start with the lower um, the lower set first, then we're going to go to uh, the back, or so you see at the lower set here, the lower area. Uh, we're going to go to the side wall here, and we're going to go one block up from the bottom, so or one block up from the deck level, basically. So deck level is this block here, and we we'll go one up. And roughly count uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, roughly 8 blocks forward. And then we'll add our first porthole. Pardon me, first porthole there. And then every 3 blocks, uh, add a porthole. So basically, I'm going to build them in groups. So we can build them in groups of 6. And each block, uh, each window is separated by 3 blocks. So that's for the first 2 of 6. So that's 2, and then 3, and then 4, and then 5, and then 6. <coughs> that's our six windows there and then we're going to go to the next deck up which is I think three blocks up so one two three and make it four blocks up sorry so basically what you want to do is uh, build two windows which overlap the la the first two windows of the of the bottom set so you've got two windows up there and they'll overlap the, the the first two windows of the bottom set so you build another set of windows up here so that's one two there and then three Three, four, five, and then six. So there we go. We've got two sets of windows you can see, and the top, uh, the, the end windows overlap each other like so. So next we'll go to the front of the uh, four f of the top set, and then we'll add our next window. So just to work out where they go. So we've got two, well, one there, and then one there. So that's two again, and then up to six. So three, four. Five and six. So that's six windows there. And as you can see, they overlap each other. So you want to basically you go in a zigzag. So you go from there up to there, down to there, and then up again, down, up, down, up, down, all the way along. Now, if I look at the prototype, you'll sort of see what I'm trying to do. So you can see the, the windows there, like that, staggered. So that's how you how you want to achieve it. And you basically just want to go up to. You don't want to go too far forward. I'm just going to show you on the prototype how far forward you want to go. So basically, just up to where the superstructure starts to dip down at the front there, like so. So where the curve is there is where the windows will end. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I fill in the rest of the windows, uh, uh, roughly at that sort of design, and then uh, we'll move on, so uh, back in a bit. Okay, back again. I've added the windows down both sides. Uh, didn't explain it very well, I know, but uh, you know, it's, it's, it's basically just groups of six overlapping each other, but that is uh, the right-hand side done. And that bloody motorbike is back again. Uh, so yeah, they got the windows down the side there, and it's the same on both sides. I said at the beginning, now I'm not going to add any stripes or anything, so that is up to you what you want to do with the uh, cutter strips. But uh, yeah, I'm going to leave leave the ship blank for the moment. And uh, there's the windows on the other side as well. So that's that job done. So what we're going to do now is begin the lifeboats. And <coughs> excuse me, they're going to build eight lifeboats. Well, that's what you're going to need to do anyway. So there's four on each side. So what we're going to do is go to the bridge wings on the sides, you've got these bridge wings here, and then you've got this cascading area down here which sort of goes down 5, 3, 2, 1, 1. 
And it's last one block here. And we're going to leave a single block gap from there. So count back to the second block. And we're going to build our first gantry dev at there. So we're going to build up rows of two uh, five times. So we've got one row of two and then two, three, four and five. Like so. And then you want to build up three. One, two, three. Like so. So it's five rows of two. Up like that. And then three. And then you want to go outwards. Uh, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then down one. Like so. And that just over overhangs the side of the ship by one. <laughs> Sorry, my nose is bunged up. Uh, and then what you want to do is leave an e uh, a 12 block gap. So go count back to the 13th blocks from the davit. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then we build the same again. So 2 up, 2 up, 2 up, 2 up, and 2 up. And then 3, 1, 2, 3. And then 6 out, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And down 1. So that's the first pair of davits like so. And then between that you want to build your lifeboat. So the lifeboat itself uh, is uh, 14 long and 5 wide. And it's on the 4th block up from the bottom. So if we go to the bottom, so we go 1, 2, 3, 4th block up is where we're going to build the keel. So I build the keel which is basically a single line. So I build the keel all the way across like so. And then we want to go up 1 and up 2. Like so, then go up one, sorry, up one and then up two. No, forget that actually. So we've got the keel ends there and then up one and then up two. There we go, that's how it's meant to be. <coughs> and then we build the base of the boat, which is. Try and build it. I try and build it the same as the ones I normally do, so. It's five wide anyway. <laughs> if you can copy that design, then you're better than me. So two out, two out. Two out, two out. To there and the same the other side. There we go, there's our first boat basically, and we can remove a few blocks that we don't need. Like so. Now for the boat to top, the canvas, I think on the prototype I left it bare. If I can just see. Yeah, I did the did the round the the top of the boat orange, but uh, I think what I'll do I'll uh, put, fill fill all the boat in, and then we'll uh, put a canvas top on it. So I'll get our, uh, our our orange wool. We'll do orange carpet. We we'll use that. There we go, there's our first boat done like so. Didn't explain it very well, like again, I mean, I'm, I'm sort of struggling here because I can't breathe very well, so my brain's not working too well, I'm not getting enough air to the brain. Um, and that's the first pair of davits there and the first lifeboat. So I'll do the same again, so you want to leave a single block gap and then do the same again. So one block gap and then it's the same process again. So two up, two up, two up, two up, two up, and then three up. And then five, uh, six out, one, two, three, four, five, six, down one. And then the 13, uh, yeah, count to the 13th block from there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And do the same again. So two up, two up, two up, two up, two up, three up, one, two, two, three, six out, one, two, three, four, five, six, one down. And that's our second set. So you want to do the same again. So you want four pairs of these. So another one block gap, two up, two up, two up, two up, etc. You know how this goes. And then 13 blocks back. Do the same again, two up, two up, two up, two up, two up. And that's that one there, and then another one block gap. Do the same again. And then 13 blocks again. And for the last gantry there, so two up again. Down 
one. So there's the four pairs of gantries in place. So you want four on each side, so you've got the four pairs there, and then you'll have another four pairs on the other side. And in between them, you just want to add the lifeboat. So try and either try and build the one that I've done, or do your own design, because you know, mine are very basic. You can probably come up with something a lot better. So I'll leave it up to you how you want to do the lifeboats, and what I'll do, I'll do a jump cut and sort out these boats uh, while I can. So, uh, yeah, I'll leave it up to you. So, I'll, like I said, I'll do a jump cut now and uh, fill in the boats with what I have, and then we'll move on to the next job. So, uh, back in a moment. Right, it's back again. I've got the lifeboats done now on both sides. So we've got the four boats here on the uh, right-hand side, uh, which is the starboard side, no, the port side, starboard side, I don't know, whichever, whichever side it is. Uh, four boats there, and of course the four boats on the other side, which we added earlier. And uh, they should look something like that. So I think that's all that's required for a ship of this size. And they uh, don't look too bad. So what we're going to do now is go to the stern now. And we're going to add a mast and a pool. So we're going to go to the back end of the top deck here. So it's top deck area here, this square building. And we're going to go to the 26th block forward on the wood. So the centre wood block is here. And we count to the 26th forward. So that's 10, 15, 20, 25, 26. So 26 there. Then we we'll do the same as what we did on the bow. So I put two forward, and then three either side, like so, and then two like that, and increase that to two high, like that. And I just checked my notes because I can't remember the <laughs> dimensions of the first one. And we want it to build. Uh, so on the front, we'll build seven high. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Like so. 3 down from the top. Or 4th down. Build out 3. Like so. And then for the sides of the mast at the bottom. Build up 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Same the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And of course the back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And there we go. There's the mast there. <coughs> Pardon me. And it should look something like that. Now what we want to do now is go to the front wall of that mast, to this point here, I'm going to count forward, uh, I'm going to change my notes so I know what I'm doing, so we're going to count forward to the 10th block forward, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, actually make it 11, 12, 13, so make it 13, actually make it 14 because I think I misjudged how this goes, so make it 14. And we'll put a centre block. So make it a 14 block gap from the, uh, or 14th block forward from the uh, mast. So I'll put a centre block there. And we're going to build this wall 7 wide. So that is 3 other side. So 1, 2, 3 that side. And 1, 2, 3 that side. And then leave a 3 block gap. 1, 2, 3. And on the 4th block add 1. Like so. And then 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 out. And then 3. 1, 2, 3. One, two, three, and then three again. One, two, three, and then four. One, two, three, four, like so. Up to the back wall like that. And do the same the other side. Hopefully try and do it better. So three block gap from the side. One, two, three. On the fourth block, add one. And then out four. One, two, three, four, and then three. One, two, three. Three again. One, two, three. And then four. One, two, three, four, like so. And it should look something like that. And then you can add handrails across the top. Don't really understand why, because it's not deck level, but there we go. So add the handrails all the way across. And there we go, that's the uh, back wall like that. And then the last major build of today is to add the pool, which is basically a big square water park. <laughs> well, not water park, just a, a slab of water, basically. So you're going to leave a two block gap forward of the centre block of this wall. So centre block there, and go two blocks forward. One, two, and on the third block uh, is where we start digging. So, we'll, we'll, we'll actually, I'll put that back. How I meant to do this is build uh, is build it 17 wide in white first. So 17 wide center block, and then 17 wide. So that is eight either side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that way. And then the sides are 14. So one, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then join them together across the front. 
And then what we do now is all the wood blocks in this area will remove. Uh, so I'll get rid of all these wood blocks here. So we just build, just basically cut a big hole in the deck. I'll use world edit for this, otherwise I'll be here all day. So I just get rid of all this. And there we go, big hole in the deck there. And then what you want to do is on the inside, it just add. Uh, well, it depends how deep you want it, really. Because I mean, it's it's, it's only going to be one block deep uh, at the best of times. So if you want to make it a bit deeper, what you can do is remove all the wood blocks underneath the white. So you'll have a, an overhanging ledge like so. So remove all the wood blocks underneath the white uh, sub, uh, surround. And replace the ones that have gone missing. Like so, and then replace them with white blocks underneath. Like so, so that's two down like so. And then for the bottom, what you can do is go and add another layer of white blocks underneath to create the bottom of the pool. So you're restricted on space underneath it, but at least you'll have a deep pool. But like I say, it's entirely up to you if you want to have the full depth or uh, a half depth pool. I mean, it's, it's no real use really, because I mean, it's, it's just a <laughs> just a, a, a slab of water basically. But if you want to uh, have a pool in there and you want to make it a bit deeper, then it's entirely up to you. But uh, personally, I think it's just useless. But I won't bother putting any water in it. I just build the uh, pool to us certain depth and uh, it shouldn't look too bad so I'll get in there at the moment I'll just add it I'll just weld it at the rest of it otherwise I'll be here all day um, so I'll go from this block here all up to here and we'll do set quartz and there we go there's the pool all filled in and it should look something like that and if you want to around the edge of the pool now we can add slabs so you can have access to the pool so add slabs all the way around like so. <laughs> and there we go, there's the uh, pool all done. Nothing really special, but there we go. And uh, the last job for today is basically to hand add the handrails. I mean, it's a very basic ship very basically detailed by me and uh, we can call it a day so we'll start at the stern and we'll add our handrails so as per usual when I'm building these ships or whenever I use handrails I tend to replace blocks which are if you look if you look in this corner here the handrail goes over a wood block so if, what I normally do is remove the wood block in the corners and replace with the color of the hull so when you replace the, the handrails now they'll sit on top of a white block so I'm going to do that all the way around, so otherwise it just looks weird. So replace all the missing blocks. I'll do the same the other side. Like so, and then we can replace with handrails. So put the handrails on, all the way around the tip of the stern. And there we go, there's the handrails added there. So that's the stern, bottom st uh, section of the stern. And then we do the next section up. Add the handrails around that. And I usually go on for a rant here, but I'm really not in the mood to talk too much. But you know what's coming after this one. It'll be the Kaiser Wilhelm de Grosse. Which will be at a later date. So there we go. there's the handrails for those two decks there. And then for the next deck up as well, I've got to do a bit more tweaking here as well. So I've got to remove a few wood blocks as well. And replace with white. Do the same the other side. And there we go. Now start from the outside again and work my way around the back. So start from the end here. Add the handrails around the back. And then up the other side. And 
And I don't know if anyone actually watches this because uh, the views have been dwindling. And uh, there we go. That's just the uh, the way things go. Anyway, that's that. Those handrails done there. Now I'm going to do the next deck as well. So I'll go to the centre block of the next deck up, which is the boat deck. So I'll start from the centre and work my way out. I've got to go between the lifeboats on this one. So I'll go around the back end here, around the uh, around the corners of the uh, deck, and then up the other side, up the outside, and up to the lifeboats. All the way along. I think what I do, I use world edit for this one. Otherwise, I'll be here all day. So I'll go all the way along between the lifeboats up to there, and I'll replace zero with 101. And here we go. There's the iron bars added there, and it's quite good. I'll do the same on the other side. And then once again, I'll do the same up to the front end. <laughs> up to there. And there we go, there's the handrails added there. And there we go, that is pretty much all of the uh, ships done. So it's not brilliant, like I say, it's not perfect. There's no, uh, no real uh, quality with it. But, you know, it's what people wanted. And I've done my best with uh, the representation. And I think we can call it done. Uh... But yeah, thanks very much for watching for the people who are watching, because like I said, the channel is on its death throes with lack of uh, people taking notice. Just the way things go, I think YouTube is gradually killing itself with the political correctness and all things like that. Article 13 I don't think has come into effect yet, but that could just fuck everything up later on, but we'll see. As soon as we're out of the European Union, we'll the, the better perhaps. And hurry up about it which is, as well. Um, I'm probably going to get banned for saying that as well because I know uh, YouTube doesn't like uh, talking politics at least the uh, the right wing politics it's all lefties you know um, but yeah I'm not exactly left wing I'm pretty pretty much a right wing activist or well, not an activist but a right wing political person so it could be the end of me uh, but anyway that is the Oceanos done and uh, we shall uh, leave it at that and uh, just marvel over the uh, limited glory of it and uh, the next time you'll see this from me is probably when it's being destroyed in From the Depths. And uh, it's not going to be too difficult to do that, as it is a very basic ship. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not too bad, uh, considering some of the other things I've done. But uh, compared to the next ship, which is the Kaiser Wilhelm de Grossa, it is a completely different, vi uh, completely different beast. Well, that one is, anyway. This one is a pile of shit. But uh, thanks very much for watching, subscribing, commenting and insulting, it's all taken on board and uh, appreciated some of it so we'll uh, leave it at that so this is Rich signing off, logging off disappearing and I shall return with another video soon so uh, bye for now